Hi, I'm Glenn of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to install your own mail server in your company or in your home. You need to download the HMail server and the link is um, written below. Once you have downloaded the HMail server file, please install it. Please select the built-in database when doing the installation. Now, during the installation, it will ask for your master password. You must put a master password so no one else can open the server aside from you as the administrator. Once installed, the first thing that you need to do is to add the domain. Click the Add Domain button and type your domain name. Once the domain is created, click on the Settings, Protocol, expand it and go to SMTP. Click on the delivery of email and in the local host name, type in localhost. Leave the rest of the setting as it is. Go to Accounts and start adding new email. First, add your master email. In my case, I put my name. Add the password. And save it. Add another account. This time, I will put memorandum. Put in a password. From here onwards, you can start adding more email addresses. Click on the domain name and select the advanced tab there. Now you must put in an email address as the catch-all basin. The catch-all means any undelivered message will be sent to this email address. Now, 
I will change the Glen at tangointranet.com.pg from user to server. Select SMTP, go to General tab, and replace the number below to 100,000. Select Advanced, go to Autoban, and disable the Autoban function. In the IP ranges, start adding subnets if your company has more than one network. If you have multiple subnets, add each location subnet to this function. You can always set the priority to 10 or 15 if you want, but I use 10. Just keep on adding subnets in this area as much as you need. All the emails will go into this folder. As you can see, there's nothing. But once you start sending emails, all of those emails are going to be stored in here as a folder and text within the folders. So here I'm opening my email client, which is the Outlook, and I'm going to start sending a sample email using the memorandum email to my Glenn email. As soon as the email is sent, you will see that it has created my domain name in this folder. And there will be a folder inside where the collection of email will be seen. And if we read it here, in my email client, you will see that I have received the email after I refresh the email client. there. So as you can see now, I have closed the application, the HTML server, and I'm now going to pin it to my taskbar for easy access. Once I loaded it, it will prompt for a password. Remember the master password, you have to put it in the password box. Now from this onwards, you can also add as many email addresses as you can. Here, let's try and add some more.
So this is how easy it is to set up your own email server in your small mid to medium enterprise or your company. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. If you find this useful, please subscribe. Have a nice day, everyone. Thank you.